there's been a lot of conversations around Gypsy Rose Blanchard and the murder of her mother. She's serving a 10 year sentence. Recently she wrote a letter to fans, which I'll talk about in this video. But I have what might seem like an unpopular opinion about this case that I wanna kinda of discuss with all of you. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, something that I'm really passionate about is mental health and any topics that kind of involve it. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell, especially because I'll be doing some videos on Gypsy Rose Blanchard and that entire case. So I just released a video earlier this morning about Gypsy Rose Blanchard being uh, engaged in prison. So if you wanna check that out, it's up in the info card. So make sure you go watch that. But Gypsy Rose Blanchard, I'm not gonna go over this story again. Like maybe I'll make a full video about it. But basically she was the victim of Munchausen by proxy. Like she had a traumatic childhood. We all know this, this is very true. And like, here's the thing. I, I often check in with myself because I see, I see myself as sometimes too empathetic. Um, and maybe it's because I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, I've worked in treatment, and I've seen how, you know, childhood trauma can lead to addiction, and then addiction leads to other terrible things, and there's a stigma around addiction. So I empathize a lot with addicts, but also with a lot of criminals, right? because a lot of them had crappy childhood growing up. So as I've been making videos about Gypsy Rose Blanchard and seeing the comments, seeing comments on other videos, seeing articles being written about it, like Gypsy Rose Blanchard has this massive following. There was a massive outcry of people to get this woman released, okay? This woman who pled guilty to second degree murder of her mother while her ex-boyfriend did the murder, Gypsy Rose Blanchard was very much involved, okay? And a lot of people wanna see her released. They feel bad for her, they feel terrible for her. But I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm like, is there some hypocrisy going on? Or is there a double standard going on? Like. If you look, if you look, so first off, the United States has a massive prison population, an insane prison population. And when you look at most of the people who are incarcerated, they had traumatic childhoods. Like, that is a fact, okay? Not many people who have an amazing life growing up, like, turn to crime, whether it's, you know, um, using or selling drugs or robbery or violence or murder or whatever it is. Like most people have a traumatic childhood. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, I'm like, why are people, and I, I wanna just have a conversation with you, like why are people so adamant about having Gypsy Rose Blanchard released early because they feel bad for her when we have so many other people locked up where you could argue the same thing. And not only could you argue that, but most of them didn't commit murder. You know what I mean? So Gypsy Rose Blanchard just sent out a letter to her fans because her her father is trying to get a petition signed to get her released early. So she wrote a letter to fans saying like, hey, here's how you can help me get out early. And I'm sitting here wondering like, A, I'm like, this is like, I don't know, like a murderer having fans telling them to help her get released early. Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to look at this like, like logically for a second. I'm like, wait, how many murderers could get petition signed to get them released early? Okay, now, I hate to make the, uh, the, the analogy because I know Gypsy Rose Blanchard is nowhere near as bad as somebody like Ted Bundy, but Ted Bundy had fans, okay? Like at the end of the day, Gypsy Rose had her mother killed. Now, to help, strengthen my argument on this thing and to get your wheels turning a little bit. Like, um, my beautiful girlfriend, Twist and I, we watched the show Mind Hunters on Netflix. Don't know if you watched it. Like, I've just always been fascinated with serial killers and things like that. It's just, I don't know, it's crazy. It's crazy, serial killers, cults. I'm just interested in that stuff. So Mind Hunters, if you haven't checked it out on Netflix, go check it out. Uh, season two, I think, might be coming out this year. I'm not sure. But anyways, it's about when they first started, like, investigating serial killers and first gave serial killers the name. And it's based on, like, true events. So one of the serial killers that they interview to try to get inside the mind of serial killers is Ed Kemper, okay? So Ed Kemper, if you don't know who he is, he was known as, I believe, the co-ed killer. 
So he started out, he started out, he had a very abusive, traumatic childhood. He ended up growing up and raping and murdering his mother in a brutal way. Um, I believe he may have also murdered his grandparents and he then went on to murder more people, all stemming from a traumatic childhood. That dude is in prison for life, right? And I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, so this guy had a traumatic childhood. He ended up killing his mother and then killed more people. Like, what's the difference between him and Gypsy Rose Blanchard? I can only think of a couple differences. One is that he didn't get caught for a while. So my question is, would Gypsy and her boyfriend, would, have, would they have gone on to kill more people, right? Because of her trauma and everything like that. The second one that I can't help but think of is, and here's my opinion on this. I think more people are sympathetic to Gypsy Rose because of this, and please tell me if I'm wrong. I believe they're more sympathetic to her because the case is so strange, and there is so much attention put on her case and her upbringing. Like, when have we ever heard a story like this? Like, we hear a story all the time about people getting locked up for like murder or other crimes, right? But when when else, like, it's happened before, but it's very rare, like, when else has, like, someone been a victim of Munchausen by proxy, been forced to be in a wheelchair, forced to uh, use a feeding tube, shave their head, pretend to the public that, you know, they, they have all these illnesses? When does that happen, right? So I look at this and I'm like, okay, so if these other murderers, if these other people who killed their parents, their abusive parents, if they were in those same circumstances and got that much public attention, would they be treated the same as Gypsy Rose Blanchard? I want you to ask yourself that for, for a second. And here's the other, the other topic I wanna to bring up is, does anybody remember J.C. Dugard? So those of you who don't know who J.C. Dugard is, she is a, a woman who was kidnapped when she was a child. They thought she was, she was maybe dead, she was missing forever. And the, the couple who kidnapped her, they kept her in their backyard, right? And the man, the man ended up raping this young woman when she was older. She got pregnant and had his children, okay? This went on for years. And um, they finally, like, it was that was a crazy case, and they finally found her and realized who she was. Like, her, uh, her and the kids were like, I think out of college, like trying to convert people to some religion because the guy um, who was part of the kidnapping was like super religious, so they like let him out and they were doing this. So. J.C. Du Dugard did not kill that couple, right? And like, she had a very traumatic experience. So I'm not a lawyer or anything like that, but like, again, I make videos because just the way our minds work and the way our logic works just really fascinates me. And when that happens, I'm like, I wanna make a video and have a conversation about this because I'm always trying to figure out like, why is this thing different than this thing? Like, why, why are we so sympathetic to Gypsy Rose Blanchard and her childhood trauma that led to murder, but we're not sympathetic to the, the other killers who had traumatic childhoods and all the people who are currently in prison where you could argue that their crimes, right? Their crimes can be associated with their childhood trauma and how they developed. Why are they not getting as much sympathy and empathy and a chance to be let out, right? Like, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below because it's just really, really interesting to me, all right? But again, I do have some more videos planned on this entire case. I am going to be diving into the topic of uh, Gypsy Rose Blanchard being a victim of Munchausen by proxy. I'm gonna talk about like what might have led a person to do that and, and again, like, I, I think one of the reasons why I wanna talk about this too on my channel is because the elections are coming up, all right? The elections are coming up next year and I am a firm believer that we need prison reform because right now with, with the way that we have privatized prisons, people getting locked up and it seems like the punishment doesn't always fit the crime, we are you know, enslaving these people rather than rehabilitating them and trying to get them back into society. So when I see these cases like Gypsy Rose Blanchard that are outliers and like you have thousands of people backing her up to try to reintegrate her back into society while there are people serving years in prison for like 
having weed? Like, I want us all to kind of sit back and look at this stuff and look at politicians who are running for president and say like, okay, like, I don't know, maybe we should look at prison reform as a whole because a lot of people are going through terrible childhoods and that is the reason why they do some screwed up stuff when they get older, all right? But that doesn't get rid of a personal accountability. Let me clear that up. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on all these subjects down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to sign up, become a patron, get involved in our monthly Q&A, get access to some other perks and benefits, you can click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.